let's go to the respective JR website. In this example, because we will be buying the JR East Pass, we will be logging into the JR East website. In the website, move your cursor over to the Find Your Pass option. Once you hover it, a drop-down menu will appear, and check whether your preferred pass appear in the quick menu. If don't, you can click on the bold text, Find Your Pass option. Go through all the available options in the page, by scrolling down and select the plus icon. And once you find your preferred pass that cover your destinations, simply select it. In the selected pass page, you should scroll down and take your time to learn more about the pass information, what it cover, and its limitations. Once you have decided to purchase the pass, select the purchase option. This will bring you to a separate pass selection page, and from the page, select the type of pass that you want to purchase. Once confirmed, select the buy your pass option. From the confirmation of purchase details page, please go through the details, the pass validity period, and the areas of use. Once you have agree and confirm on the details, please select the buy this pass option. Before purchasing, you will need to become a member. So in this login page, if you are not a member, like me, select the become a member option. In this page, please go through the JR Train reservation membership and service agreements and the privacy policy information. Please check the boxes beside the texts that say, I agree, for each individual sections. Once every boxes are checked, you can select the next option. Under the Send Registration Procedure email page, enter your preferred email that will receive all the confirmation email from the JR website. Once you have entered both the email address and the email language, select the Send option. This notice page inform you that a registration procedure email has been sent to the email address that you have just entered. Go to your email and click on the provided URL links. In this page, enter all the required basic information about yourself, like your name, date of birth, gender, passport country, and phone number. Then create a password for your member page. After that, select whether you would like to receive notification email from JR website, and also select your preferred email language. Once everything has been entered, select the Confirm Information Entered option. In the Confirm Information Entered page, please check whether all your entered information is correct. If everything is correctly entered, select the Register Credit Card Information option. From the Credit Card Registration page, enter your card information. Once all the information been entered, select the Confirm Information Entered option. It will bring you to the Confirm Credit Card Information page, check whether all the entered information is correct. Once everything has been confirmed, please select the Registration Complete option. This page inform you that your membership registration has been completed. So now, you can proceed to purchase the pass. Select the Continue to Purchase Ticket option. In the Enter Purchase Information page, select the number of passengers and the start date of the pass that you are going to use. Once done, scroll down and enter your passport information for respective user. Once entered, select the next option. In the Select Pickup Location page, select your preferred pickup location and the pickup date from the drop-down menu. Once both the location and date have been selected, select the next option. Next in the Service Agreement page, you can either click and read both the JR East Train Reservation Terms of Use and Privacy Policy information respectively. Or just simply check both boxes that say I agree. Once both the boxes are checked, select the next option. In the details of your reservation page, scroll down and check whether all the entered information is correct, including your choice of credit card payment. Once you have confirmed the fare and the entered information, select the Reserve Now option. Confirm or authorize your online card transaction if needed for your respective bank. Finally, in the Thank You page, you can either leave this page and check your confirmation email or continue to reserve a seat by selecting the reserve a reserved seat with this pass option.
And now, let's look at how to reserve a reserved seat ticket using this pass. From here, you can select the reserve a reserved seat with this pass option. Or if you happen to log out of this page, you can go back to your purchased regional pass JR East website. Select the reserve today option from the top right corner of the website. Before we can proceed further, we need to become a member. For those who is not a member yet, please register first. And for those who is already a member, simply select the login option. In the login page, enter all the required information and then select the login option. From the next page, select the seat reservation option, which is within the customers using a pass option. From the pass selection page, select the pass that you have purchased from their JR official website. If you have purchased the pass from an overseas agent, select the relevant pass that you have purchased. In the search trains page, you can either search it by station or by line. If you want to ride a specify joyful trains, you can select from the joyful trains drop down menu. Searching by train station will be much easier, just select the search by station option. In the search by station page, enter your departure station name, followed by your arrival station name, in both of the boxes respectively. Then enter your date of travel and choose either your departure or arrival time follow by the number of passengers. Once entered everything, select the search option. From the search results page, go through all the available search results by selecting either the previous train or the next train option. Once you have decided on the preferred train's timing, choose it by selecting the button option, followed by selecting the select option. In the seat selection page, you will have a few options, but select from the seat map will be a better choice. From the pop-out seat map screen, you can either select your preferred seat location or select another car if there's no seat that you preferred. In the change car pop-out screen, you can simply go through all the different cars and check whether there is any good seat available. Once you found your preferred seat, simply select the seat button, followed by selecting the confirm option. From the seat selection page, review your seat selection. Once everything is correct, select the View Reservation Details option. In the Select Pickup Location page, firstly, please check your select train information, then select your pickup location and the pickup date from both the drop-down menu respectively. Once everything is selected, select the next option. Before you can reserve the seat, you need to go through the Service Agreement page and check the box that say I agree. You can select the JR East train reservation terms of use, highlighted in blue text, and read the information. Once it is done, and check the box, select the next option. Review all the entered information from the details of your reservation page. Once everything is correct, select the Reserve Now option. Finally, in the Thank You page, you can either leave this page or continue to reserve your next reserved seat by selecting the Reserve the Next Reserved Seat option. In this example, I had selected another two more reserved seats for my Japan trip, from Nikko to Kusatsu Onsen, and from Kusatsu Onsen to Nagano. Click here for more videos regarding essential information about your trip to Japan. Thank you for staying to the end.